Oh, what are you making with Amanda? Stupid. Is Shorty the new one? Well, shut up. Hey, I'm looking at that. That's how it was good. Now, Carlos, the first story the producer is behind the scenes egging the ladies on. That is so natural. You know, as producers, it's our job to really get story out of these women. What's wrong, baby? I'm doing it. We're not behind the scenes pulling the strings in terms of what happened. It was a crucial time in my family's life. I always felt that nothing ever fought for me. It's like, no, Oprah, like, no, no. And sitting here with the king of reality TV, Carlos King. I always said to them, the audience, fight with your words, not with your face. We throw shade, oh, we don't throw shade. She treated me as this whole thing. It really hurt my feelings. Are you the only one who feels this way? You know, you're making me feel so comfortable that when you're talking about this public. Hey, guys, I'm somebody that's going to hide the stuff. Try to get the car. That's fine, but I think I'm going to hide the car. I'm going to hide the car. I'm going to hide the car. Did you sleep with JJ? Yes. Did I sleep with JJ? Yes. Did I sleep with JJ? Yes. So while we had to stay home to keep our family safe, you were leaving us. Yeah. Where did we go? To the gym. The gyms weren't open. Well, it's not gym. Well, other things open that you were going to see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So look, Mark. before, I got that baby. <laughs> so before I bring out the Queen of Huntsville, I first want to say this. I thank each and every one of you in this room for making Love and Marriage Huntsville the number one
first party. I mean, it's really mind-blowing, so I'm thankful. No, but you're mind-blowing because I don't know too many women, and, and you guys know my history. I work with a lot of women. Um, you know, yeah. like, you know, like Nene Leakes, like, you know, Kenya Morgan. Some of you guys, Timmy Butler, Cameron Morgan. You know, like, I know, like, you know, Oprah, you know, a couple, a couple of other girls. But the reason why I believe the show set off the way it did was because of your transparency. And, and what, I, what, what a lot of people don't realize is I had to beg Miss Thing to do the show. I literally got on my knees like this child. God I said, go to the closet. You're going to pray in your prayer closet. You're going to get your behind on set. Because Melody, but, but this, is, this is truly favor on this woman's life because she was like, Carlos, I'm going to do something personal. And I just signed up to share that part of my life. You know, I, I, I'm, I just don't want to give that. And she said, if this is meant to be, this will come around again. I said, well, honey, that ain't how it works, child. I'm like, it is. I said, that ain't how it works, honey. I talked to Oprah, she wants to show child, so I can go back to Oprah so I can show. So I said, Melody, I said, do me a favor, shoot the pilot. I said, shoot the pilot. And if the network doesn't green light the show, then it wasn't meant to be. I said, if it wasn't meant to be, I said, but you have to give it a try. We, wait, we waited five years to do this show. So I said, if you trust me and believe with me, I will hold your hand throughout the process, and I have never let your hand go throughout the process. Okay, so I thank you for that. I want you to know that. But um, do you have any regrets considering your personal life has been on full display. I mean, full display since the show started. No regrets. You see how these women out here?
for me, it became a no, I'm making this decision for my kids. So it didn't matter if I got with another man or not because a man doesn't define me. I had with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, there's someone trying to holler, but right now he's six eight. Does it? What are we doing? 
and there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people out there who want to get close to the show, and I'm very protective of who gets on the show because I really wanted to represent reality, but you can't you can't allow your your into your curiosity, right? When it comes to the fandom, because there's so many people, that there's these vultures who's like, I want to be part of this, and they record the conversations, you know, they slide in your DMs, they screenshot them, and and because it's a lot, um, there's a lot of great intentional people like the ones in this room yes. who just want the show to be great, yes. and 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 I applaud all of you in this room for that. So there there is no grounds for. For, for, for that, which also brings me to your next husband. Boo, boo, boo. On New Year's Day, so on New Year's Day, you know, I am reflecting to God, right, about 2024, because I, my favorite numbers are two and four, and sometimes six and nine, but I really love two and four, right? So my favorite numbers are two and four. So I was like, yo, double portion, abundance, all those things. And I went to see the Color Purple musical, right? So I've been watching Taraji and Fantasia and Daniel Brooks and the cast and they thing. And I'm like, yes, babe, I'm seeing a lot on the soundtrack. You know, I support Oprah because thank you, Oprah, for supporting me. Yeah. So, you know, I wanted to see, you know, Oprah's work. And I get a not a vacation. Not a on my phone. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> well, because I love Jesus, I try not to use an H-E-Double hockey stick. Because I don't want to call that spirit into my life. You know? Um, I may have said another word that begins with an F and begins with an A. <laughs> So, I'm gonna be real tall. I'm real. Right? So, I'm watching the cover of And I, I'm really into it. And it's very, if you haven't seen Go Watch, it's really good. And it spoke to me from a spiritual level. It really spoke to me like, you gotta go bigger and harder and don't let these motherfuckers like mess with you and test you. Like, you gotta, you gotta ride the love and hate, right? Um, so, when I saw that, I said, what the hell? And then I decided to sit still because I said, God doesn't do anything by mistake. And for this to come to me while I'm being inspired by this film, this ain't nothing but the devil's workshop trying to knock me off my game because at the end of the day, it was a lie. Okay, so um, your ex wrote. So the the comment was the scene between you and Martel, and I'm gonna tell you all the truth, because at the end of the day, all I have nothing to hide, right? I know, I know people say, listen, when you are in this position on the stage, people will say things about you that aren't true because the lie spreads faster than the truth because it's going to be Okay? And that's the reason why I know the power of my voice, honey, and I use it for the for, for, for good. All the time, baby. So when I saw that comment, and the comment I'm paraphrasing, because when I saw it, I went back to my business and watched The Cold Purple, then I called Melody afterwards, we'll talk about that too. So the comment said, like, it, it was talking about a scene that you and Martell taped um, for the season finale, right? It was a one-on-one -on -one conversation, he brought flowers. Um, and, and the ex, Martel said that I told him to bring flowers. Now, I didn't become the king of reality TV by telling people to buy grocery store flowers. Like, if I don't tell you to do something, honey, I'm a, I'm a part of the jet. You know what I'm saying? I got the green truck at the crib, baby. If I'm gonna tell you to do something, it's gonna be on a bigger scale, not 1999 flowers from the public. 
in the frozen food section with the blueberry, the blackberries, the grapes, and the organic banana. If Carlos came, I didn't get this far by being mediocre. So that's numero uno. So that that that's not the truth. Now, you no, I'm gonna talk about it. Can I, can I, can I talk? I'm talking. Raise your hand if you have a microphone in your hand. Okay, okay. So it's, I, let me tell you something. I don't date my man for something, so I'm not gonna date another woman's man to do anything. So so I don't beg people to do anything. Okay. When it comes to this show, and nothing stop me when I'm lying, right? When it comes to this show, come and tell you how it works, okay? And we'll get to the other stuff. Producer and talent, and talent are the cast members, right? We have conversations about, okay, so this week, what you want to do? What you want to do? True. Right? And then, and then we, we set the stage to make it happen, because we have to clear locate. All the boring stuff I don't care about. Every location you see, kind of call it a dance and film it and schedule it and time it. Make sure their schedule is ready. All that boring stuff. Y'all just like Carlos Moore the tea, right? Let's watch the show. So the conversation between he and I was, and listen, this was his reality at that time. And I want to I make it very clear because we filmed that scene months ago. So months ago, there was an intention of, I want to speak to her. Okay, fine, because they weren't um, filming together, and you guys know that to be true by watching the show. They weren't in scenes together, right? He wanted it, and we set the stage to make it happen, right? We, we set the stage. I don't beg anybody, because the one thing that we do, he wanted to do it, we did, we did ask Melody, hey, Marcel would like to meet with you, are you okay with that? She said, fine, we'll meet. Cool, right? That, that, that's how we set the stage. I didn't beg him, okay? Nor did I say get flowers from the grocery or the food section. Um, nor did I feed him lines because the other thing that was in there were, were actors. And, and that's the shit that pissed me off. I'm telling you all. You can say what you want about me. I, I, one thing about me, I'm the child of God, so I only care about what my, you know, the man I serve to think about me, right? But don't. Don't do that to the integrity of my production. Because my producers leave their hometown, their family, their kids to come to Huntsville to make sure that this cast has a great show. So don't do that to me, nor my production. And more importantly, don't do that to the cast. Okay, I'm not Tyler Perry, Sean the Rhymes, Ava Duvernay, Will Packer. You know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't have, but this is no shade to me, I don't have the mental intelligence to create something out of thin air and say, hey, Melody, so when you go in the group, you're going to say this, you're going to say, I got points to make my points to fake money. Yes! <laughs> I, I, I'm not that right. When it comes to that, I follow the reality. So that was, was disgusting to me because it's not true. And I was disappointed because there's history here. Like, the reason why we have a love and marriage Huntsville is because they came to me wanting to do a show, and then collectively we, we talk about what it could be. So there is history there. And I'm gonna be very honest, my, my heart was broken because it's one thing for you to be mad that at that time is how you felt. Don't throw me into the mix. And, 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 and don't do it to the point where now you're having people question my integrity. Right? Okay, I'm gonna make you my honesty, okay? So then I listened to Melody. I mean, you know, I'm like, did I miss something? And 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 the thing for me more so was it just wasn't true. Like it was true, I'll say, okay, but it just wasn't true. So when you saw that, what went through your mind? Because again, I said this earlier, you take the show very seriously. And there, there, there's no acting on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now all these other reality shows come. Okay. So. Go ahead, boo. My question was. Yeah. 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 You gotta go. Yeah. 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 Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. For one, I felt sorry for you 
because I know too how much you have, how much you care about this show, how hard you work on this show as well. And me knowing that I had just gotten 10 dozen roses a few months before that, okay, like sent to my home from him, the flowers like stop. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody told you to send me 10 dozen roses. You know what I mean? So um, I hated that he did it that way and made it seem as if you told him to do that. I didn't for once think you told him to do that. Um, the reason I felt he got to go is because outside of my personal feelings because of the attacks that I received, the show as a whole, whenever you have him, um, his, I don't know what I should call a significant other. Okay. 
crazy. Something else that came out was the arrest of your next husband. Was it for art Me being me, I 
said, I believe in divine timing. I'm not doing all of that. Now, I've done myself. I'm going to let God do the other one whenever he says so. So, I sat around all those months wondering, hmm, I know it's out there, though, but I mean, they flying and stuff, but I mean, I don't know, but it's out there. And lo and behold, Carlos, after talking to you about prayer and letting God show you and it wasn't me I didn't make a call you know you have a warning you go to certain places trying to get certain things that pops up and that's what happened I, I know we're all like laughing and joking okay, we're having a good time and I do love that but I, I want to I really want the world to know how deep is this for you because at the end of the day, Melody, this is a man who proposed to you on your college graduation day. You love Bob. You have four kids by this man. And and obviously, you were mad in love. You guys were a power couple. You guys were a power couple in the city. You guys built this foundation. And your kids are, are, are wonderful. Did you ever think, Melody, in a million years, that your life would end up this way to where you would even have to do that to somebody who's a father of your kids. Like, were there moments of like, you know. Never, never would have imagined that, but I will say along the way the telltale signs And um, especially hindsight is everything, right? So sometimes when you get out of the situation, you're able to reflect and see clearly maybe the things you missed or that you overlooked or you didn't pay attention to. And so when I look back at it now and see how he handled other situations and other people, the lack of maturity, you know, um, just the, the inability to just be a full-blown man, you know, where it's like, you know what, we didn't work out, but you know what? I'm gonna leave her alone because I messed up. It is what it is, right? Let me just leave her alone. Um, I never thought that I would be wishing that I had had my children by somebody else. And that's where I am. And I've shared that, you know, with my family. Like, dang, like, why have you kids with somebody else? Because this just, it just keeps going and it's just going and it's just going. And it's like, when, when is enough enough? And when do we stop funding the madness? Right. That's the other right. That's why we upset. When do we stop funding the madness? When is, you know, I, I'm doing this interview with you, Carlos, but I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't remember the last time I sat down and even did an interview. Like, real talk. So I filmed for the show, but I'm not out here thinking of ways to degrade people and come at people and everybody interview me so I can talk down about everybody. Like life is too short. Life is too short. I got too much in my purpose to be focusing on, and that's not my focus. So when I have this 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 person that continuously attacks, it, it becomes a lot. And you, I don't know if you know that, but fortunately, this networks. I have my own therapist. She's here tonight in the audience. I'm meeting somewhere in here, but own gives us therapists as well. And so I've had conversations with them too, you know, about where I am and how I'm feeling. I will say this, one thing that you did do is anytime I had a scene, you made sure security was there. So I appreciate you. Hey, I always want to make sure that anybody who's associated with the kingdom feels safe. And, and that feels and looks differently for every person, right? And that's the reason why Again, you and I have personal conversations, and the one thing that I just, you're a very strong woman, right? And you have this strength that is just so magnificent that I sometimes wonder like, where did she get it from? But also know that there's nights where you cry yourself to sleep at night. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nights, because I, I don't want people to think like you're saying like, you are, yay, this happened, and yes, I'm happy, because at the end of the day, I always look at you and I do wonder because I work on other reality shows where the woman decided to stay or she did leave 
and she got back together with them. You know what I mean? And and for you to be able to do that and, and to do it publicly. And I even remember, and you don't know this, after the first season, I just knew, I was like, oh, it's over. And I mean, I feel horrible that this happened. And then the, re the first reunion, I went to y'all dressing room and you're pregnant and I'm like, what's going on? You said, we're back together. I said, <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked. But I want people to know this because I don't think you get a lot of credit for this. You follow your heart. And I know some people think you follow the trend of what your audience may want you to do or what the world wants you to do. One thing that Lala Anthony said that I saw you repost and I thought of you when she said this, when she said, what people don't understand when a woman files for divorce, it's the hardest thing in the world because it's easier to stay. It's easier to stay. It's harder to make a decision to leave. And and I know that when it comes to like the housewives, they divorce somebody, Peter Thomas at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see them no more. And the housewife is to like do her thing and date and all this other stuff. You are the first woman in reality television history to have to film with your divorced husband. You know what I mean? And I, I've never asked you this personally, um, but since we're all friends, I'm gonna ask you from the, you know, everybody. Um, how hard is it to come to work every day knowing that huh, I have to deal with this? And were there moments where you like, is this show even worth it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody say absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, whoo! Mm. Coming here tonight is tough for home. Really? Yeah. Y'all gonna make me cry. Aww. 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 So, literally, thankfully, my mom was in the room with me, Lauren was in the room, my friend Brittany's out here, she was in the room, and um, they were like, For you, ma'am. And um, mm -hmm. you know, I've never seen that. Like this is long I keep telling you, I three like years old, and I don't know. It's too soft. And um, knowing that at times, because I'm on a show and a shared platform, yeah. sometimes, Carlos, I felt like we don't gonna step in. Yes, that's how we feel. That's how we feel. Yes, 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 Carlos. Yes, Carlos. We feel that way, Melody. That's why we stand with you. That's why we stand with you, Mel. Yes. Don't pick up for her. Enough. We right here with you, Mel. Abusive. Oh my God. <laughs> we hear Mel. I had times when I just wanted to stay at home and in my room and not go yeah. out. Right. But then I need to show up to work. Mm -hmm. um, my brother is here. He can I was like, uh-uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. 
And um, at times, there was a time I was upset with you. We were, and we still are. We still upset. We still upset. At the workplace. Right. Right. he would have been gone. You know, there are some things I haven't talked about on this show, but I talked about to you privately. That's real. And um, it almost started to feel like the chaos is being funded. Don't make us cry, Mel. And um, so thankfully to you know my family, my team, Melameter, they really had to talk to me and be like, you know, Mel, Carlos can get back to a good place. You know, y'all can get back to a good place. You gotta just be open, you know. Um, talk to him, maybe he'll understand, you know, but don't don't charge it to his heart. Because that's what I was doing. Um, I know um, it was times I ain't want to talk to you. Just be honest, I No, this is this is the last time to be honest. But thankfully, thankfully, um, the strength came, you know. And we got to a place where we started that talking again, like we used to talk. Um, I started to feel like you started to see me. I don't know if it was because things started happening to you. <laughs> Atlanta, left the, the, left the city of Atlanta, moved to Los 